Welcome back sa ating FA page na free reviewers managed by Leona Lin at sa ating YouTube channel na Solving Math with Leona Lin. Now, dito naman tayo sa find itong average speed. So anyway, ito ay random po sa ating FB group na Philippine Civil Service Review for All. Let's read the problem. A person covers 40% distance at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour and 30% distance at a speed of 30 kilometers per hour and the rest distance at a speed of 15 kilometers per hour. Find his average speed in the whole journey. Unang-una, anong ibig sabihin ng average example na lang a plus b plus c plus d i divide na ya i divide yan kung ilan sila lahat apat sila lahat kaya this is equal to average so ngayon itong speed speed na to unang una yung mismong speed ay ate yung mismong speed <laughs> sorry so, ang formula ng speed, no need na kayong mag-memorize. Nandyan na yan. Kilometer, kilometer per hour. Ang kilometer yan yung distance per, divide yan siya, hour means time. Ito na yung mismong formula dyan. So, sa average naman, ang total average dito ay yung total distance over total time. So, isulat natin dito sa tabi yung mismong average speed equals total total distance wait, total distance over total time. So, ito yung average speed. Now, since meron tayong 40% sa distance at ito yung speed na 40 kilometers, meron tayong 30% na distance, ibig sabihin the rest ay 30%. Saan galing? Yung the entire na distance that is 100%, now yung 40% dyan, yung speed ay 40 km per hour. Yung 30% dyan, yung speed ay 30 km per hour. Now, yung natitira na ito yung kabuhuan, so yung natitira bali ay 30% na lang sa uh, kabuang distance. Now, ngayon, ang speed dito ay 50 km per hour. Anong gagawin natin? Let uh, 100 be our total distance. Pwede natin gawin si 100 sa at ating total Total distance. Okay. So, anong gagawin natin dito? 40% okay, of 100. Bali yung 100 be our total distance. And this is 40. So, 40 kilometers. Ma'am, paano naging 40? 40% 40 times 100. Meron tayong dal... Uh, Percent sign, dalawang zero. Ang titira na lang ay 40 or 40 times 1. That is 40. So, anyway. Now, doon tayo dito sa mismong distance over time. Yung rate equals distance over time. Kapag si distance ang hinahanap, itong si time, i-transfer natin sa kabila. Since pang divide siya, pang multiply siya sa rate. So, rate times times equals distance. Ngayon, kung si time naman ang hinahanap, transfer natin itong si rate. Since si rate ay pang-multiply dyan, pang-divide naman yan sa kabila. So, therefore, time equals distance over rate. Anong gagawin natin dyan? Para makuha natin yung oras sa 40% of 100 natin, yung distance natin 40 km, i-divide natin sa rate na ang rate dito ay 40 km per hour. So, therefore, divide natin ng 40 km per hour. 
Next, dito muna tayo sa isa. We have 30% of 100 and this is 30 kilometers. At ito ay i-divide din natin sa speed na 30 kilometers per hour. Now, we have 40%, 30%, natitira na lang ay 30, another 30% 30 of 100, and this is 30 kilometers. Si 30 kilometers, i-divide natin sa speed na 15 kilometer per hour para makuha natin yung oras. 40 divided by 14, this is 1. 30 divided by 14, this is 1. 30 divided by 15, and this is 2. Kung i-add natin ito, 4 hours. So, 4 hours yan yung total time. Yung total distance natin ay 100, 100 divided by 4, and that is 25. Kaya ito na yung sagot, letter D, 25. Ma'am, paano kung iba yung hindi 100? Uh, pwede pa rin ba? Ganun pa rin ba ang sagot kung paano hindi 100 ang ilagay natin? Okay, tingnan nyo ha. Limbawa, hindi 100. Gawin nating 200 yung example natin. Yung total distance, gawin nating 200. 40% of 200, and this is 80 yan. 30% of 200, and that is 60. Next. So, this is 80. This is 60. 30% 30 of 200 and this is 60. Ngayon. 80 divided by 40 and this is 2. 60 divided by 30 and this is 2. 60 divided by 15 and this is 4. So, ang total dito ay 8 hours. Yung 8 hours na yan, yung total distance natin dito ay 200. E divides sa total time na 8 and this is equal to 25. Thank you for watching and all I hope na meron kayong natutunan sa video ito. Thank you and God bless.